Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alpaca Gaming here, and today we are playing some Guns of Icarus online. Now, this game currently is 10.99 on Steam, and it's a good game. Not got much of a player base. Um, I currently play as an engineer, as you can see from my character. Now we're going to get straight into a game, and hopefully we can find one fast. As I said, you know, only 170 players in game, so hopefully we ought to find one straight away. And I will. Oh, there you go. We got one straight away. Looks like I don't need to cut. Now this looks like a full team. So let's look at what our ship's going to be like. We need to be shooting out their guns. And I don't have to push the talk on. Super dude, ghost gunner. Um, and then you can stand on the Now, as you can see, we've got pretty much a full team apart from one on the enemies. So, of course, you know, we don't yeah, want them. Good. And it looks like we're both running Pyramidians. This is running Spire, which is more of a long range gun, which, as you can see, they are actually running a lot of long range things. And this is the Junker, which is a very good ship. It's got evenly on both sides. And you know, normally you'd put flamethrowers yeah, on the sides of the bomb, but you can see this yeah. one's once again gone yeah. for a longer range one. I'll tell you which side's best. Nice yeah, dude's once good. again running Pyramidian again. Good. Now, I would turn off these guys, but as you can see, it's probably best to stay in. Welcome aboard. Now, what we want to do is want to make sure that everything is ready and that we can get people. Now, everyone's down there, so I'm going to stay down here and search for the enemies but as you can see it's very cloudy which makes it harder to so I'm just going to make sure that everything is working oh god what's happened to our balloon already it looks like we're getting done long range but that dude's got it so We'll just stay on the engines while that dude stays in the balloon. In fact, now it looks like we are going to have to actually do the balloon, as this dude doesn't seem to be handling it very well. So we'll come and help him. Now, we can't actually see the enemy, so it looks like the balloon is literally our last hope here. So we need to make sure we keep that on. Now, a good part of this game, if you're a runner, is parkour. Which means you basically need to be able to get around the ship fast and be able to take it, you know, repair the cannons and this and that which is why really you've got to be using your sprint thing which as you can see in the bottom I don't have much left because I've used most of it but as you can see we have spotted the ship there so now if this dude turns around we will be able to attack him but as I said the guns are only on one side making it a bit hard for us to attack him on just one front so hopefully he will be turning, but I've got to make sure all my engines are working before I can attack him, as once again I am an engineer, and I am not meant to be attacking. But also, as you can see, it's on fire, which means we need to use our fire extinguisher to put it out, which is a pretty simple thing, you know, it's a quick one. Now, if you're taking damage, you don't want to hit it with the mallet, because different levels of things do different levels of stuff. Now a mallet will repair it fully, but it'll also take the longest to cool down the engine which means really when you're being attacked you want to use this it's probably the best but it's probably the most troublesome to do and as you can see I'm literally just keeping this alive here because if we don't then we're going down straight away so hopefully we can keep it down Now, as you can see, I got a couple good hits in there, but our uh, armor is down, which means he's doing permanent damage now, and we can't let that happen, so we're just making sure everything is repaired and up and running. Now, I will keep on the armor, because I feel like at the moment this is the best, because we need it, and our ship's going down. I don't know why. I think we're actually going underneath this, but we can't. Okay. Don't know what the captain's doing. Damaging the hull. Okay. Good choice, I guess, by him. But as you can see at the top right hand corner, we are actually winning this. So hopefully, we can pull the ship through and win this game. As you can see, there are a bit of connectivity issues on the servers, but 
really it's a good game and it's not too bad so it works out fine in the end trust me I seriously have no idea what this captain is doing he's just destroying everything <laughs> you want us back up yet? I think he was actually pulling us down so he could repair as you can see we're repaired and they are mines as you can see up there so if a ship hits one of those they'll explode and you're in trouble basically and as you can see we spotted the ship again in the fog but due to the fact that this is only one sided we can't actually get to it yet but as you can see we are turning so hopefully we will soon be able to hit him oh it appears not and so we are being hit from behind, so I'm going to see if I can spot them. There you go. Now, our team knows they're there, so if we turn anyway, we can get them, which will be good. Now, one of our fans is broken, so we need to... F well, not a fan, it's a turbine. But we now need to fix that and make sure it's fixed before we go any further, because if not, then we're in trouble and he can't really move that much or turn. So let's get this up and running again, and then I believe we need to work on the turrets. Yes, we do. But, you know, that dude's got that, so I think while we're waiting here, I will get the whole armor done. Nice this game is pretty frantic when you're getting into battle, which means you really do need to literally run about the ship. And this is why I said you need to learn to park, park, park it. Parkour. Parkour. Because if you, not, if you don't, then it really just takes a lot of time to get around the ship. Which means by that time that's happened, you could be dead. Which is why you need to be careful with your captain as well, because if you're rubbish, then you you know you're just going to stir them into constant danger. You need to know when to get out of there. Now, hopefully, we can turn and oh, we actually got him. So now there is, sees our teammates. Now this dude is using what I, appears to be moonshine. Turn. The problem with this gun as well, that I've realised, is that it's a very short range weapon, making it hard to fire it when it's, you know, it, it makes it hard to hit when they're in enemy test. But as you can see, we've just found the spire again, so if we tag that, our team knows that there is a ship there. Now, I'm going to get straight back onto this total armour again. Now, the dudes up there are probably going to end up taking out that dude which is good because that means we have one less person to deal with now let's just put everything out and make sure the engine is fine uh, fire up here if you can take care of that as you can see this dude's more correct about the fire and don't take care of this fire please now we'll get this dude to fire thank you now let's go ahead and Oh, wrong one, sorry. Let's go ahead and fix up the engine so we can turn faster. Because the two engines on the side mean he turns faster, whereas the main engine is so he can speed away. Now let's just get these repaired. Now as you can see, he's actually on this side. So I will get a couple good hits in before, wow, that was a quick one. As you can see, he is out of my range now, and we've won the game. So that was a good game.